Samsung A56 is absolutely amazing. Not only we get the best display in the class, but also really nice build quality, really decent cameras, and best of all, absolutely awesome features as well. We also get the brand new One UI 7 on this phone, which brings quite a few changes, such as new widgets, new style items, and also a bunch of new features as well. For example, if I swipe from the right corner of my phone, I can bring up this panel, basically, of my uh, quick things here. And if I swipe from maybe around from any area over here, I can actually bring up my notifications. So this is very similar to iPhone system. But if you actually swipe down again from the right side and click this pencil thing over here, click panel settings, click together over here. And if I check now, as you see, I actually have the old style back, which I much prefer. Also, just like on the flagship S25, we have the very useful circle to search function on this phone as well. So all you really have to do is simply press and hold this uh, like middle button for like two seconds essentially. And then you can start to search something. So simply drag around and basically the AI will actually try to understand what that object is. And as you see, it even gives a summary of that object. So it understands it's a phone. So and basically finds what phone that is and some information about it. Also, obviously, we can ask it some questions as well about that object. Also, your phone has always on display as well, but Samsung actually has messed up some settings and by default, it's actually not working properly. And if we go in the settings, click lock screen and always on display over here, click on the text of the always on display, then click here when to show make sure to select the always. By default, actually, it's this tab to show. So it's actually not showing. So I find that a lot of people actually get frustrated with this and can't figure out why they always on display actually is not working. Also, if you want to change the style on your always on display or even add some widgets, then on your lock screen, simply click and hold and then click uh, on the clock, click style over here and choose from a different style you want. For example, this one. So, uh, and also if we click over here, add widgets, we can also add various widgets. For example, let's pick something random. As you see, once I click done, I actually have the new style with the new widget applied as well. Also, if you want to prolong the lifespan of your battery of your phone, we actually have a new feature. If we go in the settings, click the battery over here, click battery protection, and then click maximum over here, we can actually adjust at which percentage your phone will actually stop charging. So previously it was only able to stop charging at 80%, but as you see, basically we have this new option where we can ask it to stop charging, for example, at 90%. So I think 80% yeah, wasn't really convenient and this really will give you pretty much the same effect. So prolong your long term battery lifespan, but again, you will be able to charge it much further. Also, if we go over here in the battery information, we can also see our battery health as well as well as our cycle count. For example, if you are purchasing this phone second hand, then you can simply ask the seller to go in this menu essentially and see what kind of battery cycle count this has. So if it has like 100, then it's still like a fresh phone, but obviously if more, then you will know that it's quite heavily used already. Also, a lot of people on this channel constantly ask me, where do I get my wallpaper? So let me show you. Essentially, you click and hold on any blank space, then click wallpapers and style over here, click change wallpapers, and then the trick is to simply scroll all the way down and click here from Galaxy Teams. So this actually has got really decent wallpaper store essentially. Then we can click get more wallpapers here. And the trick really is to click over here on the top wallpapers and filter by the free. So then basically the best free wallpapers will appear here. So, and there must be like, maybe like 5,000 different wallpapers. So, and again, the choice and selection is absolutely crazy. So if you want to download something, simply click on the wallpaper, click download. Okay. Click apply on both. If you want, you can also customize how they look like. And we have our brand new wallpaper. Also, your A56 actually has got really decent performance and we even have 8 gigabytes of RAM. But if you actually want to boost the performance even further, we can go in the settings, uh, click the device care over here, click on the memory. Okay, 
wait a bit and then click over here on the RAM plus and make sure to extend this uh, like a RAM so we can actually create uh, like a virtual RAM so by default you get 8 gigabytes of RAM of the C basically you can add up to extra 8 gigabytes of virtual RAM so and to do this simply click this and we will need to restart our phone also, if you want always the best performance on your phone in the same device care, we can click the auto optimization over here and click here and enable one of these. So essentially the phone will kind of understand if there's maybe something wrong with it or it simply needs to restart itself to clear any background junk. So again, it will be always the freshest and the fastest phone. Also, it will kind of understand if you are using or not using your phone and it will only do it when you are actually not at the phone and not using it. Also on this phone we are able to improve our gaming performance further as well. For example, if you go in the settings over here and find the advanced features in the settings, then click over here on the game booster settings, click here game optimization and make sure to enable this performance mode. So if you actually enable this, you will be able to play at the highest frame rate and the at best settings. Obviously this will consume more battery life and also your phone might start to heat up more. But again, if you want the best playback possible, you can enable that feature. Also, the camera on your A56 is highly advanced as well. For example, it can even understand if you simply ask it to do some things for you. For example, if you want to take a picture but do not have any free hand, you can simply ask it capture. And as you see, it actually took a picture for me without me having to touch the screen, essentially. Absolutely awesome. Also, if you want to take a picture of yourself or a group photo, but you don't have anyone to ask to take a picture of you, you can simply set up your camera like this and simply shove it your hand. And as you see, basically, it starts a content timer as soon as I show my hand and it takes a picture of me. And if you want to take the highest quality videos with your camera, then I highly suggest you to basically go all the way to the end essentially in the modes where you have this more option over here and then uh, find this pro video mode and we can essentially drag it over here so we have it available. Also I suggest this uh, dual recording as well that also is actually pretty decent so then click save over here and as you see basically we have two new modes over here. So in this pro video mode essentially we can actually change all the settings of exposure, ISO, exposure compensation as well. So you can kind of manipulate your video so to get the best video quality possible. So again, this is absolutely awesome that we have it. Also, this dual recording here also is absolutely cool. So essentially we can use the back camera and the front camera essentially on this phone to record essentially like two videos at the same time or like a video with overlay. Absolutely awesome. Also on this phone we get dual messenger function as well. For example, if you actually want to run two WhatsApp accounts at the same time, uh, we can essentially go to the settings again, click advanced features over here, click the dual messenger and click here for the WhatsApp for example and it will essentially install a second copy of your uh, WhatsApp. Uh, also you can choose to use a separate contact list also if you want to. So that's also pretty decent. So it will take basically a couple of seconds to install. And if you go in your apps, essentially, you see I actually have two WhatsApp accounts. Also, again, if you go in the same, uh, like this uh, advanced feature, so in the settings, the advanced features, then click over here on the side button. I highly suggest you to actually play around with these things here as well because we can actually quickly launch various things by simply pressing the buttons in various ways. For example, if you long press uh, power button by default, actually only the assistant comes up by default. But so if you switch to the power off menu, this will bring you essentially to the old stuff. So if you want to power off your phone, basically, yep, we can enable here. So we can actually do it with the button. Also double press, so we can basically double press the power button to quickly launch any app that we want. So select here or again anything or for example even flashlight. So as you see basically if I double press I can launch my flashlight and also we can double press to turn it off as well. By the way when it comes to the flashlight we can also go 
uh, and click and hold on the flashlight so on the flashlight icon over here and we can actually change the brightness of the flashlight so this is actually kind of new news for me so i know on other uh, samsung phones also this was previously available so but i only learned about this recently so we can actually change the brightness of the flashlight so if you want the brightest flashlight you can actually crank it to the absolutely crazy levels on this phone that's absolutely amazing and also we can uh, decrease the volume to like very minimum level so it doesn't disturb anyone so overall absolutely love this feature on the a56 we get insanely nice display which is 120 hertz and has early one of the best colors on the market when it comes to all phones but actually we can even uh, further improve the colors on this phone if we go in the settings in the display settings over here click the screen mode over here click advanced settings and we can also crank this vividness essentially to the maximum so if you want basically so if you actually like increase to the maximum the colors will pop like absolutely crazy and again it will be more vibrant and again everything will look absolutely absolutely beautiful on this phone on this side of the screen you have this tiny line if you actually pull it out we can actually get our edge panel and actually in this edge panel we have this uh, absolutely new feature for these phones ai select function essentially for example, if we go on some website and, for example, we need to process some text or again, maybe if you have some text in image, you can simply pull out this uh, thing, select the AI select thing and then we can maybe like drag around something. For example, let's drag around some text over here and then uh, we can like copy the text or again click this essentially and this can also like read text from images as well so it will copy and you can easily paste it somewhere else again we can do various other things so for example we can take an image somewhere set it as wallpaper and again there are uh, also we can go in youtube for example and take a video essentially and from that video create a gif that we can share with someone so again the uh, possibilities really are totally endless basically so as you see we are able to take for example like uh, basically a picture from website and we can edit and basically share it with someone as well also just like on other samsung phones we can use this part of our hand to take a screenshot by simply dragging across the screen so as you see if i take this part basically my palm and simply drag it a screenshot gets taken by the way the regular way how to take screenshot obviously is using the buttons by pressing the power button and the volume down so as you see but we actually need two hands for that and overall is this phone actually worth it and maybe should you actually get one well i can actually highly suggest this phone because when it comes to build quality for example i actually prefer it to my almost two times more expensive s25 so the build quality on this is actually really really decent so it's full metal so glass back and again feels super super premium so this feels totally like uh, actually a flagship phone and not like a mid-range phone also obviously the performance is spot on so it's mega mega smooth the display is insanely nice on this phone also the speakers are actually incredibly good on this phone as well and battery life is very decent also very decent cameras and overall for this price i think it's absolute bargain anyway good luck